Hello there, I'm Janice Forsyth. A very warm welcome to this, the latest in our series of virtual author events. They're organised by the Scottish Book Trust in association with the BBC. So whether you're out there or here, a huge big cheer please, applause and wild waving for Jackson Foskett. Can you come and join me? You come and stand about there, boss, OK? I'll put the young lady at the end there, please. You, you stand there. You, yeah, but whatever. You come and stand there. I need another one. Who shall I pick? Right at the back, the lassie with the flower growing out of her head. Here we come. There we go. You're going to love this when you see this. This is great. OK. Hello? Hey, right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Right. OK, you stand about there for me. All right, my love, that's fine. Two of these shapes will make a cube. One of them does not. Can you fold these shapes in your head and tell me which one of these does not make a cube? But to give it a little bit of atmosphere, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then can you go, woo, when I've gone one, two, three? Can you do it? We've got microphones picking these people up. This should be fun. Are you ready? One, two, three. Woo! There we are. Isn't that a lovely little song? Do like that, yeah. Okay, 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 my love. On your marks, get set, go. I've finished. <laughs> Keep going, girl, because we're waiting for you. Oh, she gets this right. She gets it wrong. I'm the one that looks stupid. Anyway, here we go. She's typed in the wrong number. She's typed in the wrong number. <laughs> Never mind. Chat amongst yourselves. It's nice in the BBC, isn't it? Yeah? 174174. Oh, I'll tell you what. Can we get the microphone to her? Because she's done this perfectly. I've forgotten she's going to speak. Thank you. Say out loud what your answer is. 174, 174. Give her a round of applause. There you are. Got it right. OK, thank you so much. <laughs> well done, Florence. <laughs> and it goes back again. What's more, it works both ways. Starts off three green triangles. There's two green triangles. It can go wrong. If it goes wrong, I want no one to be frightened. Ta-da! <laughs> Some people sitting there going... Like We've got a hippie here, one of them went, oh wow, spotty garboard, yeah, great. <laughs> okay, and it's gone again, there you are. Clap any time you want, we don't mind waiting. Come on, off we go, thank you for that. I'm right. going to teach you your 1,089 times table. It's going to take me 15 seconds, and you're going to remember this for the rest of your lives, whether you want to or not. Stand by for some deeply damaging incoming information. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I don't use them. What I actually use is a lightsaber from Star Wars. Yay! There you go. The nice thing about a lightsaber from Star Wars is when you cut a pizza, you get a nice straight line. That's the important bit. I've got two bits of pizza there. I'm going to cut it one more time with my lightsaber from Star Wars. Like that. There we go. I've got four bits. It goes like that. And you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right, I'm going to put one more straight line through the pizza. What is the biggest number of bits I can make? I don't know if you're considering this in your classroom, but the people here, anybody want to tell me how many bits you think I'm going to make? Can you put a hand up so we can get a microphone to you here? How many bits you think I'm going to make? Nine. He said nine. It's a good answer. It's more than nine. Little lassie over there. Eleven. Did you say eleven? That was very quick. I don't know what you've got in the classroom, but she said 11. Give that girl a round of applause. Bang on the money. Yes. Yeah. Every time I put another line in, it gets trickier to draw. But with a bit of luck, if we count these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Was that a guess? Yeah. That was a really good guess. That was fantastic. I'm going to put one more line through the pizza. Can anybody tell me what's the biggest number of bits I can get? Oh, lads over in the corner again. Uh, I've not spoken to this guy yet. How many bits? Fourteen. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, it's, no, it's more than fourteen. Speak to this lady here. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ooh, it's actually less than seventeen. I don't know how you get in the classroom. You're going to get the answer in a second because we're so close here. Right at the corner. Is it sixteen? It is sixteen, but can you tell me why it's sixteen? No. Sixteen is right, but can anybody tell me why? I'm going to ask the guy right down here. One, add one, it's two, then two, add uh, two. Brilliant. It's very hard to describe, but he's nailed it. Give us two round of applause. That's absolutely it. I'll show you what he meant. Ooh, ow. First of all, I'm going to write 16 there. Secondly, I'm going to try and show you how you get 16 bits. Oh, and this is really nice. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes when you're having a good morning and you do this, what do we get in the middle? 
What do you mean, a star? Star! Come on! What do we get in the middle? A star! That's nice. That's lovely. They're all sitting there going, we're on telly, and we're going, star! Never mind. <laughs> but I love this. You get two of these, and then I put that elastic band there, like that. Now, the thing about the elastic band, as you put it round here, sometimes it pings off and hits you in the eye. But luckily, nobody ever, ever laughs. Charming. That goes there. That goes there. It's been a delight talking to you. We're going to have some questions in a minute, but for now, what do you think of that? Be honest. Go on, clap. You know you want to. <laughs>